Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're in a different spot today. We're starting in my living room because today is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while and I'm finally doing it. It is my updated personal crystal collection tour. And I've always started in my bedroom where most of my crystals are in um, all the past videos that I've done. I can link those down below if you wanna go back and watch the older collection videos because it has evolved quite a bit. But I've got crystals everywhere. So I'm gonna hit the small spots throughout my like living room, like in the kitchen area, and maybe I'll do my office and then we're gonna hit the bedroom last because that's where most of the stuff is. So if you wanna see my updated crystal collection, then please keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start at this spot in my living room. Um, this is right by my snakes tank and some plants. So I've got a couple beauties out here. I have this really big um, clear quartz tower. I've got a couple little cuties here. This guy's got quite a lean, but he's cute. And then kind of hidden back here is Big Silk. That's what I call her. She is my beautiful jumbo rose quartz tower. She's big, she's heavy. And I think she looks really cute back here with everything. So that's this little section. And then if I turn this way, I have just a couple little things over here. I've got two little towers. Um, fun fact, this is from the very, very beginning of my shop. I got a whole bunch of crazy lace agate towers and this is the one that I kept. I just love that druzy and the red banding. So this is a Gota Gaia OG. And then I have a little Jasper tower. And then I have a nice big chunk of black tourmaline. <laughs> it still has this price stickers on it from when I bought it. It actually has um, golden mica in the core of it. So gotta have a big piece of black tourmaline. That's all over here. Let's pop over to the like living room proper area. Okay, so under my TV, I have quite a few crystals. Um, over here, I have a jumbo moss agate tower. This is also a piece from my shop that I just couldn't sell. I kept it. It's been here for a while and I love her. I can't have too much moss agate because they are all different. Um, a little blue calcite sphere. And then on these babies, I got them from, I think Home Goods or Marshalls or something like that. But it's like the see no, speak no, hear no evil. And I just put some of my fave spheres on there. Um, most pieces I'm not gonna try not to tell you where I got them from because it's just gonna get like annoying and that's not the purpose of this video. But if there's like a super, super special piece, I will mention it. We've got some green opal and then a chrysocolla. Look at those colors and those patterns. So good. And then at the end down here, I've got a beautiful quartz cluster from I think Brazil I think that's the locality um, and then just a little flower jasper tower over here and then if I turn around so this little section right here um, is special I have this beautiful big smoky quartz DT she is full of rainbows she's huge um, this is actually obsidian with mica, which is really cool. A little slab. Um, I have a big selenite sphere right here. Satin spar, technically. Just a good cleanser of the space. And then this piece is really cool. I call it my crystal penis because it looks like very phallic, but it has a calcite core and this whole bottom right here is calcite and there's just apophyllite growing everywhere. Um, this is a piece that I kept from my supplier. You're gonna notice there's a lot of massive apophyllite and calcite pieces in my collection and that's just because, I don't know if people are gonna pay the price to buy them from me when I try to sell them. So the huge massive pieces I keep, but there's probably some I'd be willing to part with. 
Down here on my coffee table, it's set up for Halloween, so I kind of switch out the crystals that are out here. Um, I've got a pumpkin. These were custom made for my shop. There's going to be a couple on my website in a few days. I've got my peach selenite skull, um, a honey calcite tower from Pakistan, and then a beautiful big rainforest jasper tower. This was one of my first statement pieces now and now it's just like a normal size in my collection um over here spiderweb obsidian palm stone i love this material there will be a few that go on my site in the future um two towers this one is really unique this is green mica and it looks like tiger stripes to me it's super super cool and then i have this really cool fluorite I loved it for this like band down the middle. Um, it's really pretty. And then one of my prized pieces is, oh my God, it's so heavy. It's probably like, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds. Um, my massive Brazilian smoky quartz skull. This is definitely life size. It's probably about eight inches. I think it's a Patico carving. I'll have to double check, but it is stunning. I grabbed this at Denver last year. I was just like, I got money left in the budget. I'm gonna blow it. So he hangs out, out here. And then I can't forget about these, <laughs> the cat toys. Um, these are pistachio calcite and white calcite jumbo towers that I had made for me. Um, they are huge. They're just like by my fireplace. They literally cause indents in the carpet. They're so big. Um, yeah, they're incredible. They are super, super heavy and big. But I mean, if anybody ever wants something that massive in the future, holla at me. Okay, this is the little divider between my kitchen and my hallway. I've got a few special pieces here. This is an apophyllite with calcite, like geode, a piece of optical calcite. I have quite a few scattered throughout. Love this agate geode, like tower. So cool, the raw back. It's actually a de-stash from one of my friends. I don't know what she was thinking getting rid of that. Lapis bowl for my incense. I've got a beautiful Himalayan quartz. I call it a taco. Looks like a little half fold taco. And then a beautiful big pink amethyst sphere. She really shows off in the sun. And that's what's over here. Okay, in my office at my desk, there's quite a few pieces. I have this cute little Himalayan. These are like little special pieces that I just like pick up and play with during the day. This is a Veracruz amethyst. It actually has an hydro, and I doubt that I'll be able to get it on camera, um, but it's right in here. You can see the bubble right at the end of my fingertip. I doubt it'll move for me right now, um, but it has an hydro, and it has a really cool like elestial formation. I loved this pink amethyst. I could not sell it. Look how sparkly it is so pretty in that color and then um, this is a little eye light sphere a little Himalayan um, these are actually black oh black rocks from the beaches of Iceland and then they're all on this really big agate slab that I'm not gonna move but it's really cool um, over here I have a beautiful lapidolite from my shop. It actually still has the price on it. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, a little apophyllite cut base. Some candy fluorite. I just love how the banding shows itself, depending on how you turn it. This is a Dreamco Lemurian massive rainbow in there. I just couldn't, couldn't let her go. 
My cats are going crazy in the background. It's fine. Um, really big golden healer point, raw chunk of green calcite. Um, this is a calcite chunk, or not calcite, a popolite chunk over here. Actually one of my first ones. Love that. Okay, I had to pause and like get the cats to stop killing each other. Um, please don't mind my mess. I literally work here every day. Um, I have a <laughs> sacred geometry smoky quartz set. And as you can see, I don't show it a lot of love. It's probably something I should de-stash and it's just like hanging out over here. But um, then I have this eighth vein ocean jasper tower. It's half bubbly, half polished. Some dioptes from the Congo. This is a rare material. It's expansive. Smoky flame, smoky tower, little citrine skull. This actually has a phantom in it. Can you see it? Maybe. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that phantom. Um, this is a piece of fluorite specimen my smoky fluorite tower i'm sure if anyone could ever pick a piece to keep this is probably always up there for people from my collection um what is this called why is it leaving my it's related to tiffany stone it's hyacinth jasper i think this is a beautiful lab free form, all those colors. And then this, ooh, this moonstone flame. This is no flash. This is just sunlight coming in through my window. Like she is not shy at all. I love her. And then up here we have this beautiful OJ sphere. I just love all the little baby orbs and the pastel colors and then a teal aventurine tower and that is it for my office sneak peek into the chaos i would never do a tour of the crystal room because we would be here forever but if you want crystals i'll link my shop in the bio we have lots Okay, um, next we're going to do, we're in my bedroom now, I'm going to do the couple things that are near my bed. I've got like two shelves here, a shelf right here that I'll turn towards and stuff that's on my nightstand currently. And then I'll hit the few shelves that are over to the side. And then we've got like the master shelves where there's a lot of stuff. So over here I have this beautiful celestite, beautiful big chunks. This is a great bedside. Um, crystal it's very calming Ooh. Um, I have this stunning amethyst root tower pretty rare to find um, an amethyst tower this big because you have to imagine the piece that that came from that root um, I have a very cute little Ganesh lab little carving I actually sourced this. I just think they're so cute. I took Hinduism in college and I just, I don't know, very intrigued by it. I, very interesting. I have a couple of little peen carvings. This one has a star on it, which may not show without a flashlight. You can sort of see one ray of it right there, but it's so jummy. Little feet got a little feet and then I got a little moonstone sunstone one as well this is normally very flashy there's the flash um I have a super cute little pre-night oop <laughs> it's not even frame pre-night nine tail fox with epido I'm a Virgo and I don't love that the emblem for Virgo is the virgin I just feel like Every other zodiac has cooler things, so I'm adopting foxes as a symbol of Virgos. <laughs> this is definitely one of my bougie pieces. This is a Himalayan from By Crystal Jail. 
it is so clear this key is amazing it's got a little key and a friend growing with it right here you can see the etching on the front of it and then down in the chloride it is full of rutiles the bottom has a lot of um, chloride and annotase and self-healing and just I mean look at those formations up top right there it's a beautiful piece and I thought it was really fairly priced for what it is um, so that is one of my bougie pieces I've got a little pink opal owl hand carved really nice detail in that this piece is another bouge um, this is epido on quartz and it's very sparkly and cool but the bottom and the back is what's even cooler to me so I don't know if you can see there's like these little you can see really well in this one those like growths down through the quartz it's so cool I don't know what that is in there but it's so cool and then the bottom has a shit ton of self-healing. Look at those formations. This is from MJ Crystals. This piece is really special. I love green crystals. <laughs> I love quartz. Only a small little bit of damage there, probably from mining. Um, but it's just so cool. Sorry if the crystals keep going out of the frame. I'm like looking at them while also trying to show them. I have a specularite slab with garnet. I actually have two of these. I'll show the other one. But if you were in one of my previous sales, I had some in my shop finally and I sold out of them because they're so good. They rightly should sell out. Um, this is my achievable polychrome jasper i'm gonna show you these i'm gonna take them out of the bowl and show you because they're freaking amazing and they deserve a moment this is imperial jasper this is a bougie moonstone so high quality she has like a little there it is i was gonna say orange flash too and pretty sure I thought she had some aqua. Oh, there's a little, um, right there, little piece of aquamarine in her, too. Um, I have a chrysocolla. I have a blue lace agate. A aquamarine. This one is black moonstone. I sometimes I prefer Shiva's to palm stones. They're just very pleasing to me. Um, this one is a black tourmaline. I have ametrine, which is amethyst and citrine. Let's see if I can get that citrine. It's like that yellowy hue. So pretty. And then this little bean is diopside. So gemmy. I just got this one recently. Gemmy, gemmy. And then my last Shiva, I think, is this gem lapidolite. I'm starting to carry Shivas a lot in my shop. I just really like them. I think that they have a very pleasing feel to them. So. I highly recommend trying one out if you have not collected a Shiva yet. Okay, I'm going to turn this way before going up to that shelf. This is what I, originally it was the Smoky Sanctuary. It was like all my Smoky Quartz, but it has evolved just into Quartz. <laughs> um, I have a Smoky Sphere. I have this beautiful Clear Quartz Obelisk. Lots of Smoky. Um, some that are like lighter toned over here, and then my darker toned ones over here. This is citrine with a beautiful rainbow champagne citrine from brazil another piece i could not bring myself to part with um i have some little they're not little this is big for citrine but smaller 
citrine towers as well that one is showing off um this one i love because of the tiger stripes on the back she's a beaut um these are all little citrines this is a little citrine b um this is super cool this is a quartz trapeche trap trapeche trapeche um, I'm going to get a flashlight and backlight this in a second because it's super cool. Um, this is a really pretty smoky. This is from Seven Stone Crystals. Beautiful quality. This is a big chunker. I love this one. I love the internal structure of ones like this. I love clarity, don't get me wrong, but I also just love internal structure like that. Uh, let me grab a flashlight and backlight that. Okay, the flashlight's actually too strong, but the natural backlighting back here, look at that. It's so cool. I got this from the Ancients. Look at that. It's crazy. I could stare at this for hours. Okay, up on this shelf, um, a few special pieces. A giant selenite egg, a um, blue calcite flame. I have all my little piggies that I am collecting from Katie at Punker Pebbles. She gets these super cute little pig carvings, and I'm just like, I need one of every kind. I've got three Smokies, like a medium, dark, and light. The dark one is like so clear. It's like see-through. They're just so cute. And then a little moss agate one and a rose quartz one. These are some of my special skulls. This, oh my God, this baby. Look at her. It's a pre-night with Epido. She is so special. I don't think I'll ever sell this one. It was bought as inventory for my shop but like I have never seen anything like this before so she's she's staying with me um and then this guy I teased it on my shop I have another one coming so I didn't feel bad keeping this one but this is a smoky quartz and it's just oh the clarity the rainbows so good just rainbows everywhere look at that beautiful hard to find smoky quartz in this style carving um and then let me scoot down to my bedside table okay hopefully all the dust is gone i tried my hardest to dust um everything but gosh um another specularite slab i actually keep this right here and i put my phone on it every night this is a massive Herkimer diamond. I just, I don't think I can put it on my website yet. I just, I don't think so. It's incredible. It does have a repair. This is a repair right here. Um, this point's like fully intact though. And it is so smoky. Herkimer diamonds just don't come out of the ground like this anymore. So I feel like I have to hold on to her. Don't kill me though. I mean, there's, I'm putting up dozens of other beautiful Herkimer diamonds. So hopefully, hopefully I am forgiven for that one. Um, this is purple and hydrate. This material is actually mined out. So I had to snag this beauty. Okay, color. Okay, shimmer. Look at her. I just love the shape too. This is my one and only Mozambique Rose Quartz Spheres. The color, the star, the size. I am becoming a jumbo queen. I only want big crystals at this point. Big or super small because they're like specimen. I don't know. My taste is evolving, but this sphere is stunning. Um, this is another skull that I just couldn't release and it's because it has a star 
She's so pretty. And Jemmy. And then this slab that they're sitting on. I never was a rose quartz girly, but now I am a rose quartz girly. And I think it's because I just need some self-love in my life. And so you start to be attracted to what you need. Look at how gemmy that is. It's see-through. It's incredible. It's amazing. It's from Alessial Tree Crystals, my faves. Chris and Cooks. Okay, let me put these babies back and then we'll scoot over to another shelf. Okay, now we're getting into some of my raw crystals that are very special. Um, let's see, this is on my other bed a bedside nightstand. This is a calcite with marcasite and calico pyrite from Linwood Mines in Iowa. I love this piece because of the pyrite phantoms. Incredible. This is a pink Colombian Lumerian cluster. I love when it has all those baby points. Gives it that sparkle. This is relatively new. A Moroccan quartz flower. Beautiful. In that stain. Um, this piece is really cool. So this is a huge piece of calcite with this like sugary, almost pink apophyllite. The back is really cool too. Look at that calcite. I love calcite. Safely place her back. Um, I've got a manifestation quartz. See that point in there? Sitting on my tarot deck. A jade goldfish. This is a sandstone slab back here. I actually have more in my shop. Hard to find. One of my first big pieces, clear quartz. Can never have too much clear quartz. And then this is my big smoky skull bowl. He's eight inches, human size. And he holds my Lumerians. So I've got these cuties. This one is a lightning strike Lumerian. So lightning actually struck the quartz and caused that on the back. This one oh, is dusty. This is a smoky. Um, Lumerian. I just really like the key on the front, the symmetry of it. And then this one <laughs> is a smoky citrine Lumerian. Look at those formations. Love it. So as I get more, at least little ones, they will go in the bowl. Okay, so this is straight up from where we just were. I call these my coffin crystal shelves. Um, honestly, I have a lot of coffin crystals, but these are like, these are ones that just scratch my brain just right, you know? Um, basically all quartz and calcite. I have this cutie little Himalayan. Um, I have this Herkimer diamond. Little cluster. So clear, so perfect. If my friend Jazz is watching, she's going to text me and be like, are you going to sell me that yet? <laughs> um, this is another Linwood calcite with marcasite. This is like the first piece that I got like this that got me into this material and kind of introduced me to it. Look at that pyrite. So good. These babies are very special. These are Leandro de Souza um, skulls. He is a master carver from Brazil. This is a smoky that I actually picked up from him in person in Tucson. I got to meet him. He has the best energy. He loves to hear that you connect with his pieces. Like, look at this. Oh, he goes directly to the mine. He picks out a raw chunk of crystal and he carves the skulls by hand. He is 
incredible. Um, and then this is also by him. This is Citrine. Brazilian Citrine in a skull. This is hard to find. So, of course, I had to have it. His carvings are super cute. They have this, like, little third eye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love that they're showing off for you. <laughs> this is a Himalayan with Rutile. I love my Himalayans to have Chlorite. Chlorite, Rutile, and Clarity. Annotase is a, a bonus, but got to have it. Um, this is an Arkansas quartz with a really nice rainbow in it. Arkansas is known for its quartz. This is a Himalayan. This one is incredible. Look at all of that rutile packed in there. This is a special, special piece. Very hard to come by. I have a beautiful Vanna Denite that I kept. Those hexagonal crystals are natural. That's how it forms. Really, really pretty. Most pieces, I think, come out of Morocco. And then this is a Credite. Um, this I sourced for my shop, and I kept it. And I'm really glad I did, because this quality of Credite just isn't out there right now. It's just not great what's on the market. So I'm very happy that I kept this piece. I love the the shape, the peachy color of it. It's really cute. She cute or whatever. Whew, okay. And then up top is all my calcites and apophyllites. This piece is beautiful apophyllite. And then you've got this stunning calcite on the bottom. This one I'm obsessed with. This is another one Jazz will beg me <laughs> to give her. Leslie, look at that sugary calcite. Oh, and the color, it's like rose tone. It's so pretty. This, it just, it just scratches my brain. It just tickles. These are two little smoky quartz. They're like little pillars. I don't know. I just think they look cute there. Um, this was a gift from my supplier. It's like a pophilite crust. I'm going to turn it over. It's all calcite. This one's hard to display because it's like the front is the pretty side, but then the back you get to see that calcite. So I guess that kind of does it. This piece is special. This is pink, well, purple, pink purple calcite from St. Lawrence, New York. A lot of people got their hands on this this past year and it has been on the market. This is from their May or June pocket that they hit. It's just incredible. A piece like this I paid like 550 or 450 for it. It's expensive, but that color they have specimens of this in the New York State Museum. It's just incredible. Had to have it. Had to have it. It's a, it's a need, not a want. And I got this beauty, Indian calcite. She's a little scratched up. She's been through some stuff. It's probably because I pick her up so much, but I just love the shape of it. It's really cool. Calcite is soft. This beauty is what got me into calcite. Also Indian calcite. Rainbows galore from the ancients. And then the last piece up here, this beauty, apophyllite with the beautiful calcite on top. Even the bottom is pretty. Stunning. So that's the shelf. I'm gonna turn and do a small bit over here. And then we've got the big shelves to do. Okay, this here is like a three tier, four tier, like glass shelf. I love how, what the top is giving, but then the shelves down below are like not fully developed. So I'll show you the pieces from down there, but I'm not gonna show you how it looks cause I'm kind of embarrassed. It's not, it's not giving Virgo. Um, 
But up top here, living. Plants, candle, perfume bottles. It's cute. Um, a lot of special little quartz pieces over here as well. Some Herkimers. I love the um, matrix on that one. Some special rue tiles. This one's red. This cute little Himalayan. All that chlorite. It does have rue tile in there too. Um, this is a smoky Herkimer. Actually from my friend Colin. This is another Himalayan with special little inclusions in there. Another Herkimer. Perfect points on that piece. Another piece of calcite. I go through phases 100%. And a little blue calcidney heart. Another rutile piece over here. These look really cool. The flashlight, they look like shooting stars. A little quartz piece. This is my ugh, big moss agate skull with the big druzy head. I did a photo shoot with him in the past. He's sitting on an agate slab. He is the moment. This is dusty. This is a um, moss agate tower that was in my shop. I gave it one chance to sell. It still has the sticker on it. Nobody bought it, and I was like, oh, I'm keeping it. I just love the raw look to it. It's like yellowy. It's really unique, and I love that shape. Tall and skinny. Um, a smoky quartz. Double flame. Just like the golden healer one that's in my office. That's from MJ as well. Big, whoa. Big smoky tower back here. I think this is from China. Um, this is a snowflake jade sphere. It's man-made, but it's so pretty. And I just love the bubbly look and the color. So I appreciate good man-made items. Gypsum on amethyst. Not natural. Natural pieces glued together. Um, a moss agate flame. Hopefully the lighting's okay over here. It's kind of moody. I kind of dig it. And then I've got two carnelian pieces, a honey calcite, and a pistachio calcite on that wooden stand. Those are from my shop. I should probably get more because every time I get them, you guys sell them out. Understandably so. They're very aesthetically pleasing. Um, I'm going to turn this way a little bit, and I'm going to show you the big pieces down here. Well, I have one little one, but this is permineralized wood from Germany. It's from the Triassic period. So this is like 200 million pieces, 200 million year old piece of wood with quartz on it. I have my big mama, Lemurian. She's polished at the bottom. She is beautiful. And when I took her, where did I take her? I took her on a trip somewhere and I think maybe to Tucson. And I was playing around with her and she has chlorite phantoms. I just don't know. I think they're up here at the top. It's hard to see, but like right in here, she has chlorite. Um, I the record keepers on the back, so good. I love her. She is Brazilian. Um, down here, the beautiful apophyllite and peach stillbite plate. Beauty. 
Kelty. This calcite is really cool. I love the, the shape. The perfect little flower of apophyllite. Really, really cool. Haven't seen another one like that before. Um, I'm going to be very careful with this piece because she's flaky. This is Vivianite from my girl Gab, Synergy Wellness. Vivianite, I think she said this one came from the Amazon. It actually grows on um, dead things. <laughs> really hard to find a piece this big anymore so I was very happy to grab this from Gab and put her down and then last but not least back here is a new piece this fits in the category of I don't think I would sell it because it's so expensive so I'm keeping it category calcite from India super super cool Hi, and then over here I have two jumbo pieces on the ground. I have this huge calcite from India. And how did I have her? And then this really big green apophyllite specimen. Um she's very large. So all the plant stuff that fell over here makes it look kind of gross, but She's beautiful and she's large. A couple more small sections. Um, this is like my pseudo altar space, I guess. Um, I've got my big sandstone buffalo. This is a glass Buddha, some little tumbles and Chinese money coins and a selenite bowl, some shells, my moon water. This is a really pretty Jasper freeform. Um, I've got this black amethyst cut base, my prized pre night. This is as high quality as it gets from Australia. I have some more pieces of that. My little cavern site. This is a collector's piece for sure. Some candle quartz. Really cool formations there. These are just altar candles. Some of my bracelets, my bracelets are just scattered everywhere, honestly. Um, yeah, that's what's over here. I rotate out these pieces a lot. Okay, this is a special side over here. Lots of my favorite spheres, big towers. Um, I have a little Herkimer sphere. It's a Herkimer from Pakistan, so it's not a real Herkimer. Um, oh, these are dusty. My All my optical calcite spheres, I wanted to have like a small to big moment. Um, when the sun comes in, when it's setting over there by my window, they light up so beautifully. There's its rainbows. They're all just stunning. This one has really good rainbow. There we go. They're a little dusty. I dust these like once a week. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're just going to get dusty. I think I gotta get one of those like dust vacuums so I can just like blow the dust away. Um, this one's gorgeous. One of my faves. And then the big baby in the biop. Boy, she's huge. So special. She's from Seven Stone Crystals. 
Pam has very good calcite. This tower back here is actually from Pam too. It's like a honey calcite. She's a beaut. I've got my Big Mama clear quartz from Brazil. She is one that I sourced for myself. It's so heavy. I'm really trying not to drop anything. Um, I've got my smoky fluorite back here from Gab. A really big smoky. I think that's one that's from Steph. I have more smoky fluorite coming from Gab. So maybe I'll do like an unboxing of my order from her because I went crazy. I went crazy. And then these black moonstones. Last but not least, this one has rainbows and like blue flash right here. Do you see that depth? Get the dust off. Ooh, little sunstone moment. Just amazing. Flashy without the flashlight too. Look at that. So good. These are both from Mantra Minerals. She has amazing moonstone. This one is slightly different because it has this kind of flash. Look at that. Look at that. So good. And then back here in this onyx dish are some of my favorite tumbles and pocket pieces. So they are high, high quality little tumbles. But yeah, I love this shelf. And then if we go down a level, this is my palm stone bowl. I got the bowl on Amazon, actually. I think it was like 20 bucks, so not too bad. Um, but these are all of my beautiful palm stones. I love them all. I have some star rose quartz ones. Some smoky. This sunstone is a fave. She flashes even without the flashlight. I love this white calcite one. I have a couple eighth veins. A couple eighth vein OJs. They're really jelly. Um, my Laramars, I love. Laramar. The labs in here are pretty special too. This one is OG Gaia inventory. Let me turn this down a level. That I kept. And little old me is smart and didn't even know the value of this kind of labradorite. Those colors. So I'm really glad I kept it. Look at that. But yeah, those are my palm stones. I have a couple pieces up there. I have my onyx vases and bottles, a desert rose selenite, and my singing bowl. Um, I can't get back there because my papa's on chair right here, but they're cute, trust me. And then this right here is the holy mecca. So I'm gonna go through each of these shelves. Okay, up top is my tower shelf. I sort of have this organized by what it is. Um, just so many to show. Let me pick a few of my favorites. Um, this golden healer is beauteous. I think my little light on the front of my camera is dying. This pink amethyst, I love. This lapidolite is great. I've had this one for a while, but it just doesn't get old. This like galaxy lapidolite. Um, let me get my flashlight because the light's definitely dying. Those agates up there are stunning. I just have so much. This amethyst. I love this flower agate. It's like green. Really pretty. Um, this amethyst is cool because it has, is it coccinite? No, 
gothite, gothite. Little, well, if the dust wasn't there. Little gothite guys at the top. Very cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot up there. They're beautiful. I love them. Oh, I love this pre-night with Epido because I wonder if I can find it and get it to show. Oh, it's definitely right here. Right here. It has a rainbow. It only shows in certain lights and I probably don't have the lighting right to show you, but trust me, it's pretty. Okay, this is my skull shelf. Um, so many good pieces. I'm trying to have one of every color. I brought out a light because my little clip-on light was dying, but Lapidolite. This carnelian is wild. Meant for my shop, but no one bought it. Still has the sticker. Just gonna hold it right there. Um, some really good crazy lace agate. So good. Um, I love this little OJ. I love yellow OJ. Strawberry quartz, rhodonite, clear quartz, blue maggot. This smoky is great. That's from Big Heart Rising. I got a blue lace agate. Great quality. My labradorite. Also really good flash. Um, blue calcite, Picasso jasper, tourmaline in quartz. She has a rainbow. Well, she shows right in here usually. She's being shy. She's cute. Lemon um, jade. This moss baby. And then this agate back here is great. So cool. Got that from Jazz. Don't know why she de that, but she did. And I said, me please. And this cute little Laramar. Very cute. With little baby skulls. Yeah, I'm pretty picky about my skulls. So that's what I got. Down a level is my spheres. Ooh, this is a good shelf. Um, sandstone, love her. This big agate with quartz is amazing. This is from um, Crystal Child. Is that what it's called? The Crystal Child. So good. It looks bubbly, like ocean jasper. Um, this is a cute little OJ. This is a garnet. Pretty heavy for how little it is. Fluorite. This is pyrite. This had its little moment. <laughs> I sold out of that for my shop, so I made sure to keep myself one. Amazonite. Crazy lace. Septarian. OJ, this is a little eighth vein sphere. I love the colors. Um, this is a sixth vein OJ. Calcite, um, I have a lot of moonstone. I try to collect a moonstone sphere of every variety that comes out. So I have peach moonstone with sunstone. Really flashy. I have this little 
I think it's black moonstone technically. It's like brown though. It's like a chocolate moonstone. This is a black moonstone with sunstone. Um, a little green. They're calling it green moonstone, but it's not Garnierite green moonstone. It's like a sage moonstone. The color is so pretty. This is green moonstone. Garnierite. Good flash on her. This is your kind of traditional blue moonstone. And then another moonstone sunstone mix. I've got my scolocyte sphere. I love scolocyte. Chrysocola, serpentine. And then this big mama moss agate sphere. It's huge, it's so heavy. Hold it for much longer. So that's the sphere uh, shelf. Down here is like my free forms raw shelf. Um, this is a huge flower agate free form. This is green appetite with a uh, asterism. Got some little malachites, some more vivianite, this rose quartz flame, so gemmy. <laughs> it's from my shop, so that's the price sticker on it. I love this little golden healer, some grape agate, Jersey quartz, pink halite. This piece is cool. This is from Steph. This is fluorite with smoky quartz. Really, really pretty. Um, some quartz with epido. Smoky, this flower agate's beautiful. Had to keep that. Let's see, I've got my Nika. My Nika Selenite Twin. This is from the Cave of Giants in Mexico. This rhodochrosite is really cool. I've never seen pieces like this. It's like a little raw flower looking specimen from Argentina. I've got my moonstone moon on a stand back there. She's actually very flashy. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, I constantly walk in and that's flashing at me. And then I've got my Ethiopian water opals. These have to stay in water, otherwise they crack and dry out. And then down here is just a lot of pieces I don't know where to put just yet. Um, I didn't want to de-stash them, but I just haven't found a home. It's a lot of my like smaller pieces, wands, DTs. I love them. I just not really sure where they belong just yet. Um, I've got my fibrous malachite. This is cool. This is smoky um, spirit quartz. I don't know. Just a lot of cuties. I just don't know where to put them just yet. But God, I think that's my collection. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's everything. I'm sure I'll stumble across a spot in my house and be like, oh, I forgot to show them this. But there's crystals everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try and find that bowl that I have my palm stones in on Amazon because I get a lot of questions about that. So I'll try to link that below. I'm going to link my shop below, my Instagram for my shop, the website. Um, I'll link the other videos of my collection below. I'm actually doing a de-stash of my collection this Thursday the 19th on my shop's Instagram so if you watch those old videos and you see a piece that you love 
and you're like, it's not in this video, where'd it go? You could probably buy it on Thursday. I'm destashing a lot. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know this is probably going to be a long one, but I love seeing other people's collections and hopefully you enjoyed this. So yeah, drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.